Hey, what's up everyone? John here from testprepinsight.com and today I'm going to be directly comparing Busu and Duolingo. I've used both of these language learning programs extensively and today I'm going to cover which one I think is better. So if you're ready, let's get to it. Okay, welcome back. I should mention up front here that since I'll primarily just be discussing the major highlights and lowlights today, if you find you need more detail at any point during this video, or if you really want to dig in regarding each company's lesson structure, format, and learning framework, you can always check out our full detailed written comparison over on our website. An easy way to get there is just to Google Test Prep Insight, Busu versus Duolingo. Okay, to start, let's cover what the lessons from both companies are like. And really from a high level, the core lessons from Busu and Duolingo are fairly similar in terms of both length and format. In short, the core lessons from both companies are about 5 to 15 minutes in length and are made up of a series of short, interactive drills, exercises, and quizzes that span reading, writing, listening, and speaking. Think fill in the blanks, matching pairs, verbal practice, writing sentences, multiple choice questions, etc., etc. Now, you may have noticed earlier that I said the lessons are fairly similar. And that's because there are three big differences. First is the fact that the Busu lessons actually incorporate video clips of native speakers into their lessons. The second is that Busu makes grammar rules and principles more of a priority within its coursework. And the third is that Busu utilizes its entire user base to provide feedback on your verbal and written practice exercises. I'll talk about these topics in more detail here in a second. And I know I covered that pretty quickly, so if you want to see some examples of the various Busu or Duolingo drills and exercises that I just talked about, be sure to check out that full detailed written comparison on our website I mentioned. I'll have it linked down below in the description for you. I have screenshots and examples over there so you can get a better feel for what to expect. Alright, so now that you know how each program generally works, let's compare pricing and affordability. Both Duolingo and Busu actually offer free plans, but as you might imagine, the free plans are somewhat restricted. In other words, they don't include all of the features and content that Duolingo and Busu have to offer. So as a result, most people choose to upgrade. With Busu, that would be either their Premium Plan or their Premium Plus Plan, which costs anywhere from $3 to $14 per month, depending on whether you want to sign up for one month, one year, or two years. Duolingo calls their paid subscription their Plus Plan, which costs $7 per month or $84 per year. So comparing the two companies, it sort of depends on what you're looking for. If you just want to dip your toes in the water and sign up for one or two months, then Duolingo is the more affordable option. But if you're serious about learning a new language and want to sign up for a year or longer, then Busu is technically the cheaper option. I should add though that Busu does offer a 14 day money back guarantee, so if you want to kick the tires on one of their premium plans, you can. Also, both Busu and Duolingo regularly offer deals and special promotions, so be sure to check out the description below for coupon codes. I'll drop any current discounts that I can find down there for you. Maybe save yourself a few bucks. And by the way, if I could just say, we work really hard to produce honest, helpful, and informative content, all totally free. So if Busu or Duolingo end up being the right choice for you, we'd really appreciate it if you'd use those links listed down below in the description. Using those links supports our channel and allows us to keep creating these types of helpful review videos. And if it turns out that neither Busu or Duolingo is a great fit, it's no problem at all. My ultimate goal is to help get you matched up with the right language learning program to meet your specific needs, and we have a ton of other helpful reviews and comparisons of other companies that you can check out. Okay, so now that I've covered subscription options, pricing, and you have an idea of what the lessons from both companies are like, let's talk about the main reasons why I think Busu was better than Duolingo, and vice versa. And let's start with Busu. Number one, as I mentioned a minute ago, I really like that Busu incorporates video clips of native speakers into their lessons. This is something that's missing from the Duolingo lessons. I think video adds a whole other dimension to the learning experience. Being able to visually see a fluent speaker and observe their body language, facial expressions, hand gestures, and posture are super important in my opinion. I think it's these non-verbal cues that really help you pick up the target language faster. So overall, you've got to hand it to Busu here. Okay, number two. I appreciate that Busu makes grammar instruction more of a priority compared to Duolingo. Their grammar lessons are not only more frequent within their overall course plan, but in my opinion, Busu's grammar lessons are also more detailed than Duolingo's. In fact, about every three or four lessons, Busu will focus the content solely on an important grammar topic like future tense, comparatives, or direct object pronouns. Plus, Busu weaves in more cultural insights as well. For example, within its Spanish course, Busu takes the time to explain differences in pronunciation and grammar between Latin America and Spain. Alright, number three. I really like the feedback system that Busu has integrated into its course. This really helps promote a community-like feel among the millions of Busu users out there. So, 
As you complete lessons, some of your practice exercises, either written or verbal, are sent to the Busu community for feedback. So for example, if you're learning Italian, you'll be presented with a picture of a man cooking pasta, you'll then record yourself describing what's happening in the image, and then usually within an hour, one or two fluent Italian speakers will respond with feedback regarding your description and pronunciation. It's pretty awesome. Busu really makes it easy to make new friends, and the best part is that you can return the favor by providing feedback for people learning English. It's just a really supportive ecosystem that Busu has built. Okay, number four. In my experience, it really seems like Busu is better at using natural sentences and phrases. Whereas with Duolingo, this seems to be somewhat of a common complaint. I also noticed a good amount of gripes online regarding Duolingo using incorrect translations as well. But to be fair, some of these complaints might be outdated. It does seem like the company has been trying to improve in this area as of late, but you do occasionally still come across a sentence or translation that sort of leaves you a little perplexed. It's not a huge deal and it doesn't happen all the time, but it can interrupt and muddle your learning process from time to time. So overall, the key point here is that Busu seems to be more consistent and accurate when it comes to using natural sentences and correct translations within its lessons. Okay, so let's turn the tables now and cover the major advantages in favor of Duolingo. But before I get to that, I should mention that every single month here at Test Prep Insight, we give away a free language learning course to one lucky person. It's super simple to enter. Everyone is eligible. I'll put all the details down below in the description, but just know, it takes less than 10 seconds to enter, and hey, you never know, you could win a totally free Busu or Duolingo Plus subscription. All right, so number one, this is pretty easy. Duolingo simply covers more languages than Busu does. With Busu, you're limited to only about 12 language options, whereas with Duolingo, they cover over 30 different languages. So if you're looking to learn a slightly less popular language like Hindi, Finnish, Danish, Romanian, or a number of choices, Busu just might not be in the cards for you. For a full list of the languages that Busu and Duolingo cover, make sure to check the description below. I'll have that info down there for you. Okay, so number two. While Busu relies on its community for pronunciation feedback, Duolingo employs their own speech recognition technology. So as you complete verbal practice exercises, Duolingo's tech will immediately evaluate your pronunciation and have you repeat certain words, phrases, and sentences if you mispronounce them. That's really the big advantage here. You're receiving immediate feedback, whereas with Busu, you typically have to wait 60 to 90 minutes for other users to provide that feedback. All right, last up here. I like that Duolingo offers users plenty of extra resources beyond their standard lessons. Now to be fair, Busu also offers extra resources as well, including access to private tutoring and live group lessons, but these services cost extra. Duolingo, on the other hand, offers several different resources beyond their core curriculum for free. This includes short stories to sharpen your reading and listening skills, forums so that you can connect with other learners to discuss tips and tricks and get answers to any questions that you might have, a podcast for more exposure to the language, and a detailed translation dictionary. But perhaps my favorite resource are the online events where you can directly interact with other learners face-to-face -face via Zoom to practice speaking or just discuss whatever's on your mind. These are all great free resources that learners can take advantage of with Duolingo. And that about does it for the detail in this comparison. So let's get to the final verdict. Should you choose Busu or Duolingo? Well, after testing each program, I have to give Busu the edge. I just think Busu offers the more robust and complete language learning courses from top to bottom. Sure, Duolingo covers more languages than Busu, and there are a few small benefits that come along with using Duolingo. But when you consider the factors that really matter, Busu just takes the cake. Their lessons are much more comprehensive and diverse in terms of grammar content and the types of drills and exercises that you'll complete. I think it's great that you receive real feedback from actual fluent speakers on your written and verbal practice exercises. And overall, I found Busu to be more consistent when it comes to translations and using natural language within its coursework. So overall, considering everything, I think Busu is clearly the way to go if you're serious about learning a new language. And that's all I have for you. I hope this video has been helpful and you learned a little something. If so, make sure to return the favor by subscribing to our channel, liking this video, and dropping us a quick comment below. That'd really be appreciated. And again, if you want to see that full detailed written comparison that I mentioned earlier in this video, make sure to hop on over to our website, testprepinsight.com, or check out the rest of the videos on our YouTube channel. We have a ton of great content out there. Anyways, as always, thanks for watching, best of luck, and I'll see you in the next one.